the JAMA Network. Uh, I'm Dr. William Evans, uh, a faculty member here at St. Jude Children's Research Hospital. My research focuses on pharmacogenomics, which is trying to understand how inherited differences in a patient's genome influences their response uh, to treatment. Uh, in this case, uh, treatment for acute lymphoblastic leukemia, the most common uh, cancer in children. As we're curing 90% of children uh, with any kind of cancer, we become increasingly interested in improving their quality of life. Uh, both during treatment and after they've been cured of their childhood cancer. So this particular study focused on the most common uh, side effect of one of the anti-leukemic agents that every child uh, with ALL receives as part of their curative treatment, a drug called Vincristin. Each child will get that drug 30 or 40 times over a two and a half year period of time. Uh, the major side effect of Vincristin is called peripheral neuropathy. This is a, a very important uh, side effect that is associated with some pain and discomfort, uh, but also affects, uh, obviously, the, the child's ability to do uh, normal functions uh, as a child and an adolescent. So we were very interested in determining whether uh, those children who were developing this side effect uh, might be predisposed to developing the side effect because of a, a difference in their DNA uh, inherited uh, from one parent uh, or the other. All of the children that we studied in this clinical trial were both on ALL treatment protocols or clinical trials. 222 of them were on a clinical trial here at St. Jude Children's Research Hospital, and the other 99 children were, were on a, an ALL clinical trial by the Children's Oncology Group. So we used the 222 uh, St. Jude patients uh, to, as our discovery uh, cohort, if you will, uh, we uh, performed a genome-wide uh, survey uh, of their genome at over a million different locations. and It was a completely agnostic approach, assuming that we didn't know uh, what genes might be influencing uh, the side effect of this drug. We made the discovery uh, in the St. Jude cohort. We found one particular location uh, in the genome of children that were developing this toxicity that had a variant of a gene called CEP72. It was a SNP and the promoter of this gene that caused it to be expressed at a lower level. Uh, and this gene happens to be important uh, for forming microtubules in cells. And that's important to know because vincristin works by inhibiting microtubules. So what was happening, we hypothesized, was that this inherited difference in this gene, CEP72, was basically lowering the threshold, that is the amount of vincristin uh, that a child would need to receive to develop this toxicity of peripheral neuropathy. We made that observation first in the St. Jude cohort. We then turned to the Children's Oncology Group cohort and validated the finding. And then we analyzed uh, all of the patients uh, together uh, in uh, several additional statistical analysis uh, to adjust for things like the dosage of incristin that a child had received uh, or their ancestry. And by putting that in our analysis, we were then able to see if this uh, difference in the CEP72 gene was actually remaining a significant uh, determinant of both their risk of developing the toxicity as well as the severity of toxicity. And what we found and report is that uh, a child who inherits uh, a copy of the gene from each parent that is associated with low expression of CEP72 has about a three and a half times greater uh, probability of developing vincristin neuropathy, and when they do develop it, it has a severity that's about two, two and a half times what children uh, that have the uh, most common and normal genotype for the CEP72 gene. So it turned out to be uh, a genetic marker, if you will, or diagnostic that would identify uh, those kids that were at the highest risk of developing the toxicity and that would develop more severe uh, peripheral neuropathy from vincristin. What we first concluded was that uh, we had identified uh, a genetic or inherited predisposition to developing the most common toxicity uh, to vincristin, peripheral neuropathy. The other thing we learned in our laboratory experiments was that the leukemia cells of those children who were at the highest risk of developing neuropathy, it turned out that not only were their neurons more sensitive to vincristin, but their leukemia cells were too. This gives us a path forward, we believe, 
where we can design a future clinical trial uh, where we would give the 15 or 16 percent of children who inherit this risk allele from each parent, uh, we would treat them with a lower dose of incristin. So they're markedly more sensitive in terms of leukemia cells. And this indicates we should be able to successfully treat them with a lower dose, still have the anti-leukemic effect we, we must achieve, and reduce their uh, either incidence or severity of incristin neuropathy, and that would improve their quality of life.